Aid in the moon rises, anything can happen. The world becomes a carnival of shocks and chills. A whirling merry-go-round that never stops, spinning faster and faster, taking you on a frightening ride. I'm R.L. Stein. Don't fall asleep. Or you may find yourself in the Nightmare Room. So your mom's cool with you sleeping over at Spencer's? Told him. Whenever we moved to a new place, she's always feeling guilty for the first couple of weeks. So that's when you ask for stuff? <laughs> Electronics, usually. <laughs> really necessary. What? I just wanted to show you guys the mask. Spencer apologizes for being an idiot. You didn't really believe I was a ghoul. Yes? No. I just, uh, lost my balance. Oh, hey, Mr. Bell. Hello, Vanessa, Spencer, and, uh, Charles, isn't it? You just started my science class, fifth period? Right. Hi. You remember the alien autopsy on TV? Mr. Bell got me the tape with all the cool stuff they couldn't show. Well, look forward to seeing you on Monday. That guy is really bizarre. No, he's not. He's just open-minded. Yeah. Hey, you want to rent some videos next week? Spencer can catch up with us. Forget videos. I just found the perfect thing for us to do tonight. The Howler? Developed through years of scientific research. The Howler is the only known device which allows the user to communicate and have actual conversations with ghosts. He's kidding, right? Last month it was the Ouija board. Only that was developed through weeks of scientific research. Now, I got a good feeling about this one. It looks old. And on the way home, we can show Charlie the pit. This place used to be a major hangout until around four years ago. What happened four years ago? Just three kids snuck in, took the freight elevator down like always, never came back up. It's true. Nobody ever saw them again. How could three kids just disappear? Nobody knows. That's the mystery. Spencer's been obsessed with them ever since. Best results. Use the howler where souls departed the living world. I'd be the pit. Forget it. No way. Then we need something from the pit to take with us. I told you he was obsessed. Hey guys, you coming? button from the elevator. It's perfect. Come on. Let's go home and see if this thing works. Okay, it's ready. Yeah, this will work. Hang on. The howler does not require batteries. To activate, make sure regulators turn to one. Then crank forward to begin generating paranormal energy. Hey, what happens if you crank it backwards? Look, if you're not going to take this seriously. I'm going to go watch TV. Hit the lights. Start asking it. 
Hello? Can you hear us? Who are you? Are you one of the missing kids from the pit? Why have you disturbed No, we, we didn't mean to disturb you. You have disturbed my eternal slumber. And you shall Not so fun being the scary, is it? Who said I was scared? Come on. Your mom says dinner's ready. You turn it off. It's not bothering me. You turn it off. You guys will be quiet. I'll turn it off. Guys. Guys! What is it? them. The kids from the pit. What are you trying to say? Do you want to tell us what happened to you? So sweet. Did that really just happen? They were obviously trying to tell us something. We just need a better signal so we can hear them. You mean the pit? He means the pit? The condemned, abandoned, no way I'm going in their pit? I'm with Charlie. I don't think it's such a good idea. The pit's where they disappeared from. That's where the howler has to be to get the strongest connection. Look, if those things really want to contact us, wouldn't they send us a sign or something? Do it. Like this? You did that, man. Do it. M maybe, but he didn't do this. He does it. Do it. I think we have our sign. This place gives me the creeps. Me too. Let's just do this. Ready? Can you hear us? Thing can only do like one transfer at a time. So you're like that girl now? 
place is better than being where you guys still are. Just get us out of here. I'm sick of this place. I don't care whose body I get stuck with. Wait. I have to crank it again. Don't go anywhere. What are you doing? I, um, I don't know. I feel so funny. Are you guys okay? Whoa. Major headache. What happened? Last thing I remember was that light beam in my eyes. I mean, it's getting late. We gotta get back home. Wait. Don't you want to try it again? No. What are you, crazy? Come on. We made a connection. This thing is so sweet. Since when do you say sweet? Since I felt like it. Yeah, to our heads exploding. This place isn't going anywhere. We can always come back. I'm not getting near that pit ever again. Guys, look, we made contact and none of us got hurt. So what are you afraid of? You know, yesterday, you were the one that said this was a bad idea. Well, you know, that was because I thought we were wasting our time. I vote we go back tonight and try again. Well, I vote no chance. Spencer? Well, this is why I bought the Howler in the first place. Let's see what Mr. Bell thinks. Well. That was certainly an extraordinary story. So you believe us? I believe you came into contact with something. Whether it was just harmless static electricity, I don't know. See, harmless... So, there wouldn't be any danger if we were to try it again? Hypothetically, if we did try again, what should we do? Hypothetically? Well, um, I would try to get documented evidence. Thanks, Mr. Bell. I'll be working here late this evening if you uh, wish to discuss this any further. Cool. I'll, uh... Catch up with the guys later. So, Mr. Bell. Remember a guy named, uh, Jason Timmons? He was, uh, one of those kids that went missing three or four years ago. Oh, but before that. Yeah, you flunked him, right? Oh, he flunked himself. Jason had a major attitude problem. Well, I don't think he thought much of you either. Vanessa, that doesn't sound like you. I can't believe I let you guys talk me into this. Ready? Are you there? What are you doing in there? <laughs> that's not me, that's a... Uh... I don't know what that is. Jason, what are you doing? Jason, crossed over and switched places with you. That's crazy.
So what? Nobody's gonna believe it's real. I don't want to hurt you, Bell. Bell, I have to show you this tape. Mr. Bell? Mr. Bell, are you in here? Hey, Spence. Got any plans tonight? Let me go! Hey, I don't know what you're complaining about. I gotta be this girl forever. Hold on, guys. This won't take long. Charlie? Charlie? Charlie, if that's you, say something to me. I told you this was a bad idea. How would you know to crank it backwards? I didn't. I just figured I'd try the opposite of what I did before. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you are not taking that thing. Can we just stay home and rent a movie? Yeah, how about a scary movie? Spencer, stop it. I hate scary movies. Can we rent something like a comedy? I like comedies. Come on, they're not that bad. There might be something on the other side trying to get in. Something that might drag you away, kicking and screaming into the nightmare room.